Good morning. It is a gift to be able to share with you one of the spiritual practices that has been sustaining me during this time. The contemplative reading of scripture through drawing. A contemplative reading of scripture is when you read a text and then imagine yourself dropped right down in the middle of it, almost like you're filming it with all of your senses. You imagine in the company of the Holy Spirit what you might see, hear, feel, taste, and smell. After I engage in this holy imagination, I sit in front of a blank sheet of paper and draw whatever bubbles up within me. The act of drawing enables my body and mind to work together, which slows my brain and allows me to listen more deeply. Now you will know soon enough that my art will not be found in a gallery anytime soon. Yet over the past decade or so, when I have found myself in the most challenging of places, I have started to do art. And as the lockdown started in the midst of this pandemic, I realized that my typical practices weren't working anymore. My brain wouldn't slow, and anxiety and fear were swirling all around. I found myself digging out my old colored pencils, picking up the sketchbook my daughter gave me for Christmas, and locating the lectionary text. In today's text from Exodus, I found myself wondering what made Moses look. How in the daily task of tending the animals, he encountered one of the most memorable callings in biblical history. So often in our daily tasks or in my daily tasks, I can drift off or focus on what I'm looking for rather than waiting to see what I can find. As I drew Moses and Mount Horeb and the burning bush as words from the text and those that emerged from my contemplation started jumping onto the page, the phrase edge of the desert began swirling around me. I remembered times when I have stood at the edge of what I know, the edge whether it was the conscious choice of entering new spaces or the unraveling of the world that brings the edge to me. In those times, I'm more alert, more attentive. Perhaps even on the edge, we're able to give up our illusion of control and encounter the one whom Howard Thurman calls the source and goal of life. And in that moment, that which we used to fear may give us a new perspective, a new calling, and a new life. My friends, I pray during this time you will find spiritual practices that will sustain you. And I pray you will find those that will challenge you push you, and call you into something new. May it be so. Amen.